Hey everybody, it's Kevra. That's me, I'm Kevra, and make sure you like this video even though you have not watched it yet. Just, just, just take my word for it, it's good. Seriously, why do people say that at the beginning of the video? It makes no sense. Now, I wanna make it perfectly clear that I don't think Superstars is a bad game. In fact, I think it's a fantastic game. It has good ports, it has good mini games. The thing it doesn't have is foresight. Oh, that's right, I don't have my crystal ball with me. I took it in the shop to get rid of the clouds. It's really cloudy for some reason, I don't know. I have been complaining about Mario Party Superstars ever since they announced it. Because the way they're approaching their legacy content is absolutely horrible. And that's why Mario Party Superstars is a mistake. Like yeah, sure we're enjoying it right now, but that's because we're not suffering the consequences of it. Once more and more legacy content starts popping up, that's when we're gonna start suffering a bit. So for anyone who's enjoying the game right now and thinks the game is fantastic, I am not disagreeing with that. In fact, I completely agree with you. However, that's not the point that I'm trying to make. So for those of you who don't understand the difference, let me put it to you this way. You've decided to go out with your friends, have a few drinks, and at some point you start throwing caution to the wind. You're not gonna drink responsibly, you're gonna keep drinking because drinking's fun, right? You know what your normal limit is, you know what you shouldn't drink past, but you decide, hey, screw it. Tonight, I'm gonna party it up. And then the next day, you wake up with the worst hangover of your life. Your wallet's missing, your phone is destroyed. You're sitting in an alley next to a homeless dude named Frank with vomit all over yourself, and you're not sure if it's his or yours or both. You have 15 missed calls from your boss who says, where the hell are you? Why are you not at work yet? And you know what? You don't have a good answer because you can't just tell him you were living in the moment. If you're 12, you may not understand that analogy. You may not even know what an analogy is. So you know what? Here's a different one for you. Your mom just asked you, hey, do you have any homework tonight? And you say no, and you continue playing a video game because this new video game is awesome and you don't want to stop playing this video game. So you know what? Screw homework. You're going to play this video game. Then the very next day, your teacher gets very upset with you because you did not do the very important homework that she assigned. So she calls your mom to let her know, hey, your son did not do the homework and this was a very important assignment because blah, 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 blah. And then your mom gets so mad at you, she grounds you from that video game you were playing and you can't play it for two more weeks. Mario Party Superstars is the game that you decided to play instead of doing your homework and now you can't play it for two weeks because you dumb messed up, son. Now for those of you who still don't understand, let me go over the options we have for the Mario Party Legacy content of the future. DLC seems like it would have been the best option, but considering the game has been out for a year and the fact that they're releasing Mario Party 1, 2, and 3 on the expansion pack very soon, I feel like it would be weird for them to suddenly announce DLC for Superstars. So while I'll admit there is always still that slim possible chance I have now given up hope. And now we only have bad options left. So let's go ahead and dissect them, shall we? Option one, they're done. This was it. No DLC, no sequels, no nothing. No more 64 boards, no GameCube boards, no Wii boards. This was it. Hooray. Now, obviously, that is the absolute worst case scenario, but it is possible because maybe they made the top 100, watched it fail, and then said, you know what? We're gonna do top 100 again, and this time people are gonna buy it, damn it. And now that they've proven they can do a successful version of the top 100 minigames, they're done because they're not gonna do a top second 100 minigames. Like, all they wanted was just to do a top 100 minigames, and now that people have actually bought it, they don't care about remaking any other old content. You got the best 100 minigames. Like, what, what else could you possibly want? Uh, for you guys to not be completely incompetent. I feel like we're not asking for much. Now here's the next option that's kind of similar to that first option. They're not gonna make another Superstars game because they already made the definitive Superstars game. They're not going to sequelize it. Instead, they're just gonna make new Mario Party games with a batch of new stuff and old stuff. <laughs> and that sounds good until you really think about it and realize, no, it's, it's not gonna be good. So a lot of people will compare this to the Mario Kart method of half the courses are brand new, half the courses are old. But like, that's not what they're gonna do. They're not gonna double the amount of courses we get the same way they did for Mario Kart. Cause Mario Kart always started with four or five cups. And then later on in the series, they started doing that same amount of cups of brand new stuff, but then adding a bunch of old courses to double the amount of content we normally get in a Mario Kart game. They are not going to do that for Mario Party. Like they have all the time in the world to do that for a Mario Kart game because they only make one per console. 
And if you've noticed, the last couple of Mario Party games have actually had less boards than their predecessors. They're not trying to make more content, they're trying to make less content. So we're not gonna get six new boards and six old boards. What it's likely gonna be is three and three, or maybe four new boards with one or two old ones. And that's probably gonna be it. Oh, don't mind me, I'm just waiting for the slow drip to happen. In a year now, I'm gonna get another drip. In a year now, come on, come on, come on. The other reason I don't like this option is because IndieCube decides they always need to find a way to reinvent Mario Party, and it's not always good. So let's say I finally get Waluigi's Island remade. But it's in Super Mario Party 2, and they bring back six-sided die, character dice, stars for 10 coins, and all these other things that I just absolutely hated about Super Mario Party. Because they're not focusing on those old mechanics that people love. No, 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 they're trying to find new things. They're trying to go in different avenues. Superstars was a return to form, but that's because it was a legacy content title. This is a brand new game. It just happens to have Waluigi's Island on it. Now, that being said, I will say that IndieCube has made some good choices over the years. But overall, it's been mostly bad. And so that's when I think about these old boards getting added to new games, I just don't have a lot of hope for it. Like the only reason I have hope for new games is simply because of the fact that they finally got a new game director to take over the Mario Party franchise. Like starting with Mario Party 6 all the way up until Super, they had the same guy directing these games. And while I credit him for making one of the absolute best Mario Party games, you also have to credit him for making one of the worst. Several if you include the Cario Parties. I learned that term on the internet and I kept it. It's like Mario Party, but Cario Party. You guys are judging me, aren't you? But so far, this new game director has only given us one good Mario Party game, and who knows if they will even keep him as the game director or if they're gonna have somebody else in charge of the next one. Oh, and then also let's not forget the fact that he didn't create anything new, he just rehashed a bunch of old stuff. Like, as amazing as Superstars was, you still can't credit him too much because he didn't really contribute anything new except for online play. Like, if he does a brand new game with brand new boards, brand new minigames, and brand new mechanics, we don't know what this guy's capable of. Heck, we don't even know if he's coming back! The only thing we know is that he was pretty good at going back and adjusting some of the old stuff. So again, I don't have a lot of faith in the new ones, and even if I did, again, it would be such an incredibly slow drip of old legacy content that it's just, it, no, it, no. And that's the problem I have with this next option, which is basically, they saw Mario Party Superstars went over really well with the fan base, so they realized they're sitting on a gold mine, and they decide to milk the hell out of it. It's like Moo Moo Meadows up in this bitch. So I've always had this concern that instead of doing DLC, what they would do instead is they would basically try to kind of recreate every single Mario Party game. But then also mixing up the content so it always seems a little bit new. So for the first Mario Party Superstars, their obvious big inspiration was Mario Party 1. I mean, the hub world was exactly the same. And so I could see them continuously doing that over and over again. So the next one is gonna be based on Mario Party 2 with more N64 boards. And they're gonna be like, hey guys, remember the time we did a theater show? And again, this is a good idea in theory until you really start to think about it. Because here's the thing, I can see them making another good set of 100 mini games. The list that they made for superstars is pretty good, but I think they could do 101 to 200 and still have it be a pretty good set. In fact, I could see them doing three, four, maybe even five games before the mini games start getting bad. But once they hit that sixth and seventh and eighth and ninth game, holy hell, it will be a shit show. Like, even by Mario Party Superstars 5, I think it's not gonna be a good selection, I think it's gonna be an okay selection. And so I'm gonna be sitting there playing Mario Party Superstar 7 with the hub world of Mario Party 7, and I'm gonna go, this is awful, I don't know why you're still doing this. And considering I think Mario Party 7 is the best GameCube game, I, <laughs> I really don't like that idea, that hurts me so much. 
So yeah, I think this would be a good option for a few games and then you realize, oh no, this is not a good option. This is, you're, you're running out of mini games you can do. The boards are still fine. And heck, I'll even admit that I love the idea of Mario Party Superstars 3 turning some of the older boards that weren't originally in a storybook form to be converted into a storybook form so they look like how the Mario Party 3 boards originally looked. Like Mario's Rainbow Castle as a storybook form, I think that would be a really cool idea, but I still don't want them to do it if it means going this route. I mean, I guess they could just keep using the same mini games over and over again instead of just always recreating new ones. But at the same time, doing a Superstars 2, 3, 4, 5, by the time we get to 7, it'll be like 30 years from now. And I know that sounds like an exaggeration, but think about it. If they do a new Mario Party, then a Superstars game, then a new Mario Party, then another new Superstars game, then even if they stick to a two year rotation of these games, that still means it's going to be 30 years from now until we finally see Mario Party Superstar 7. Although we already have one. And then we're like a year past that one. So it'd be really like 23, 23 years. 23 years, you know what? That isn't so bad. I look at me overreacting. Like the only way I could see this working is if they made these games back to back to back. Heck, even if they just did it by era, so the next game we got was Mario Party Superstars 2, then Mario Party Superstars 3, then they made a new Mario Party game, then 4, 5, 6, 7 for Superstars. Then I guess that wouldn't be as bad, but it still wouldn't be the ideal situation. Because again, you'd have to remake a lot of the same mini games because you don't have enough to carry out through 10 games. I mean, they would literally have to reuse minigames, considering the fact that there aren't 1,000 minigames between Mario Party 1 and Mario Party 10. So yeah, that's another not great option. A cool idea up until you really start to think about it. Now, I think the other idea that a lot of people are already assuming, myself included, is the fact that they don't do any more N64 stuff at the moment. Instead, the Superstar sequel focuses on the GameCube. And when that game comes out, I will be asking the exact same question I asked when Superstars came out, which is, where the hell are the rest of these boards at? Like, am I happy to have some of them remade? Sure. Will I be upset that there's only five or six of them? Absolutely. And then after they do a Superstars focus on the GameCube, they're gonna do one focused on the Wii, and it's gonna be really weird because it's gonna have both traditional Mario Party and Kario Party. And then after that, they're gonna do one that focuses on the handheld systems. And then after that, they're gonna do one that focuses on Super Mario Party 1 through 3 because by that time, they've probably made three of those games. They probably made four or five of those games. And then after all that, we finally start getting another surge of Mario Party 64 boards and then Mario Party GameCube boards again. And it's just, it's like the what the hell. And this, this is the reason why I have been preaching we need DLC for Mario Party Superstars. And now that it looks like we're probably not going to get it, I'm really worried about the future of our legacy content. I mean, I guess there is still technically a chance that we could get it. They are about to release three Mario Party games back to back to back. So maybe I could see them doing GameCube as the DLC right after they do these three Mario Party games, but that just seems like a lot of Mario Party content. And I still feel like we would have a major issue of the fact that if they added like a hundred more mini games, like if this was a substantial size thing where they had five or six GameCube boards with 100 new mini games throughout the series, I feel like there is no Mario Party Superstars 2. So we're right back to square one on being screwed on Mario Party legacy content. And that also just seems like it has a low chance of possibly happening because, again, we are at the one year mark, we're about to get three Mario Party games, it seems weird that they would do GameCube after re-releasing the three original Mario Party games. Especially because I feel like they would have done that first. Like, they've had a year now, and even if they made a bunch of changes to the game mechanics so they could add things like capsules, it feels like we would have got it within that first year, unless, of course, they just wanted to wait until all the N64 stuff was done, and then they start doing the GameCube stuff. But I'm not going to hold out hopes for that, especially because, again, I feel like doing it this way is still going to be screwing it up. But to be fair, Superstars originally was kind of a weird hot mess. And that's exactly what my next topic is going to be, because I'm going to talk about what Superstars should have been as opposed to what we got. Because everything I said about doing DLC for Mario Party Superstars was kind of a course correction, because I don't feel like there should have been any minigames from Mario Party 4 through 10. Don't get me wrong, it was nice having them there. Some of my favorite minigames are from Mario Party 4 and later. But I feel like it came at a cost, and that's exactly what my next video is going to be all about.
But what do you think? Do you have a little bit more hope when it comes to Mario Party Legacy content? Or do you share a lot of my concerns? If you do, make sure you watch the next video that I'm about to post. It's going to be a very short video. There's not going to be any cutaways or, or funny bits or anything like that. It's basically, let's just say that Mario Party Superstars one year anniversary is coming up very, very soon to, in about a little over two weeks. And on that particular day, I want all of us to make a little bit of noise. So again, you'll get more details here very, very soon. The video is going up hopefully this Saturday. Um, and until next time, I'll catch you later.